How you doing? Hey, good. How are you doing? <coughs> can you talk? I can talk. I can talk. I can say words. Washington doing a field day with Ellen Boss Agronomy. This is the second year we participate in their field day. They have a really good turnout every year and it's a very it's a community event here and so we're going through some hybrids. We've got three experimentals out here and four different commercial varieties so getting a lot of positive response and just looking forward to a really good day. Some really good looking corn this year. Yeah, we're chopping today. Is that 3220 there? Yeah, it's all 3220. Every bit of it, like the nice corn. What's your name? I'm Scott Harris, I'm the national sales manager for Oh, okay. You around here a lot then, or? I come up a few times a year. Okay. Yeah, do I work with Kevin and. So you're based out of Illinois, Southern Illinois. Oh, okay. So you got in a lot later, but you got a lot more. You still got about the same amount of heat units, mm -hmm. if not more, right? Yeah. So, yeah. I, I kind of wish we would have pushed a little more on the 90s up here, but we just did. You know, I was with Kevin, and we just didn't know what. We could have. We could. We could have easily done 90s, yeah. but you're just taking a chance. Yeah, the experimental seed we don't have a lot of generally because we have to try to spread it out over a lot of different areas to try to just make sure see how it works in the east, how it works in the west, in the south, and and so upper midwest and so we got to kind of spread that out so normally we can't quite give as much experimental seed as we can the stuff that's already in the lineup so no, what, i had good luck with it i'm going to plant more of it next year good good so are you do you dairy or are you selling no, it I for sell, silage okay. i sell feed yeah. okay well the good thing is in that kind of relationship is that it benefits you as long as you can get still the yield you need to get out of it yet it also benefits the dairy when you're planting something of better quality like right. master's choice so you kind of kind of best of both worlds there which is nice huh yeah that's i i like it you know i'm gonna plant more of it you know the quality is going to be a lot higher for your starch digestibility fiber digestibility oh, all the way around yeah oh yeah huh. But yet still get that yield which is important to you as the guy who is producing it to sell you need right. just tonnage right. but we want to make sure we're getting the guys that we're selling to good quality still right. because if they the, if the dairies don't do well what are you going to do right. you know i'll be out of business exactly uh, yeah yeah we're known for putting on a nice right. big stalk and a nice big ear that's kind of our genetic base. So I mean, even when you get back in there, the your stalks right? still look just as thick. Look where the ears are. Yeah, a lot of our roots are huge. The, the, so, I mean, the nutrient uptake is so crucial, especially in those early stages. And so the, the good development of a root system is just extremely important. And I think they irrigated it three times. So really probably could have used one more maybe at the very end but it's it's, it's done okay even i want to figure out who stole my freaking signs though oh you did put signs i had there? two of them up there i was wondering oh, I I was like, like three days signs? later they were gone <laughs> yeah and then one of eric olson's i didn't know our signs were such a hot commodity oh, are, apparently right here, it's man. the man, we're maybe there's a market some, for these we don't know about no, Lance. Maybe we're missing years. something most field did yeah. you just do one application one or? application yeah we just did it basically right at pollination time to cover us for pollination so this is the first year we've seen them? Yep. Well, last year we did see a few in some isolated spots in Sumas. And we really didn't see a lot. Um, so we knew we were gonna kind of have something. We were not expecting this outbreak. Yeah. I mean, this outbreak was insane. 
Well, the good thing is you've got High good protein. heavy trade options yeah. in there. Yeah. Uh, in this maturity range that we can add into the mix to offset which is that. It's definitely going to help. Yeah. This is which one? Nice full ear. Uh, it's written on the oh, post right here 398R. 398R. I got the less of days in hybrid. Um, How does it do on wetter years? Amazing. I don't know. It's experimental. <laughs> we have no yeah. idea. <laughs> 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 Who knows, man? We've had a couple of really good days up here in Washington. We uh, just got done with the field day. Uh, uh, Ellen Boss Agronomy had a great turnout for their field day. It's one of those field days that it's a, it's a community event. There's a lot of farms there, but there's a lot of people from the community because they're so involved in their community here. And you can just really see the, the all that they provide for this area and, and just the great number of people that come out. So we got to have a lot of great conversations. A lot of guys who have planned and planned a master's choice last year are looking to increase it this year. So just a great day after getting to look at a bunch of the corn. We were on a lot of the farms, the people that were here today. So a lot of good conversation and just really looking forward to see where it's going to go for this next year. So now we're just headed back to the hotel. I'm going to go back, get cleaned up, go out to dinner with some of the uh, Ellen Boss Agronomy guys and get to spend a little time together and plan for next year. So it's been a really good couple days. Counts as it take to figure it out. <laughs> yeah. Got it.